Hi, uh, it's Bill the Handyman up here in Northern California. How y'all doing today? Okay, we're looking at a Frigidaire. Not too old. Handle's a little loose. Anyway, it's all here. The uh, thing is that uh, they say it's clicking. It's making a clicking noise. So what we're going to do is uh, we're going to take this uh, uh, relay off this compressor. And we're going to do a short test, first of all. I'm going to stick an ohmmeter on those three prongs right there and see what kind of reading I get. And uh, what we may have to do is just put a new relay on it. Typically, these relays will go bad. And uh, that's probably what we need to do. Okay, so we're going to take these three pins. Oh, the center pin should be the common pin. None of those pins should be shorted to the, to the copper. Um, so the the right pin, uh, as I recall, test my memory on this, guys. The right pin at the bottom of the pyramid is going to be uh, 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 the run run pin. Top pin is the common pin, and the left pin on the bottom of the pyramid is going to be the start pin. And so let's see if we can. Uh, See if we can uh, see if this uh, see if this unit is shorted. I'm going to put it on the ohm setting, and then we're going to touch the this, which is a scratch. It's called a scratch test, basically, on the uh, compressor. One on the compressor, and we got what 0 0.5 ohms, uh, 0 0.736 ohms, something like that. Okay, this is the common. We got 0 0.872 ohms, and then that bottom one is going to be um, 0 0.931, something like that. And so what we're going to do is we're going to go common, which is the top pin, and we get uh, 0. What we got? zero four point three it's four point three uh from the common to the run pin and then from the common to the start pin uh zero point nine zero point nine and then across across the uh the start and the run is going to be uh, zero point thirteen Okay, so that that sounds about a good reading right there. So I'm pretty sure this uh, this relay is shot. Usually, if you shake these things and they uh, rattle, they're bad. And so what I'm going to do is I buy these generic uh, I buy these generic start relays, and these are commonly you find this is a 15 microfarad capacitor on here and then I just uh, hot glue some wires in here so I can run it directly I'll put a jumper cord here uh, directly into the, the wall socket to test it and uh, so yeah this some of them don't fit in here some of them you got to trim up a little bit on the sides to fit in there but uh, this one should be okay I'm gonna what I do when I put a jumper cable on it uh, directly into the wall with this line here, it bypasses the thermostat and everything, so I can check the compressor. So if the refrigerator is not coming on for some reason, you make one of these and you have a direct jumper wire into the wall socket. It's going to bypass the thermostat and the timer and all that stuff, and it's going to tell you if the compressor is still good, and it'll tell you if you uh, if your refrigerator is worth salvaging. Um, typically, if it comes on, then all you need is a defrost timer, and you should be good. Anyway, uh, that's what I do. Let's see if it's going to work. Okay, so I got my little jig on. I, I bypassed the, the original uh, relay, start relay. I put my little jig on. It smells like it's getting hot. Yeah, it's a... Uh, it's getting hot. I can smell something kind of burning. Ideally, I'd want to look at the draw on this thing, see how much it's drawn.
Don't try this at home, guys. We got some uh, hot wires here. Uh, could be that relay is just starting to break in. Um, I used hot glue to uh, kind of secure those wires in there so that may be heating up a little bit. But usually you can tell within a few minutes if this thing's uh, getting cold and stuff. Well, the original problem was that the thing was, was clicking and it wouldn't, wouldn't get cold, right? It would come on sometimes and then click off. That's what this thing does when they go bad. Basically, these things sense the overheating and, and basically they'll say, hey, we don't like to do this. And then they, they eventually give out after they click so many times. So anyway, yeah, this one's back, back in action. Cyclopene action. Okay. So the feel back here, within a few minutes, you should feel it getting cold. And uh, so these things here, I usually leave in the mid spot. And uh, so yeah, this is a, uh, is it the uh, Electrolux? I think we're good.